this is the prison for your mages? Ours is not so grand. Going. You. No, come no further. Grey Warden or no, I will strike you down where you stand. I will accept that for now. But what are you doing here then? And you were told that the Circle was in no shape to help you, I suppose. So why did the Templars let you in? Do they plan to attack the tower now? They sent for it then. I feared they might have. What else could they do? So Gregor thinks the circle is beyond hope. He probably assumes we are all dead. They abandoned us to our fate. But even trapped as we are, we have survived. If they invoke the right, however, we will not be able to stand against them. Let it suffice to say that we had something of a revolt on our hands led by a mage named Aldred. When he returned from the battle at Ostagar, he tried to take over the Circle. As you can see, it didn't work out as he had planned. I don't know what became of Aldred, but I am certain all this is his doing. I will not lose the Circle to one man's pride and stupidity. I erected a barrier over the door leading to the rest of the tower, so nothing from inside could attack the children. You will not be able to enter the tower as long as the barrier holds, but I will dispel it if you join with me to save this circle. Yes, even if we cannot eliminate all the demons and abominations, together we could lead the survivors out. Once Gregor sees that we have made the tower safe, I trust he will tell his men to back down. He is not unreasonable. Then our path is laid out before us. We must save Irving.
No, I know the tower, and I know what we face. And if the circle is indeed lost, and all the mages dead, I would see this for myself. You want us to assist this preachy schoolmistress? To rescue these pathetic excuses for mages? They allow themselves to be corralled like cattle, mindless. Now their masters have chosen death for them, and I say, let them have it. I could be here had my mother not shielded me from the Templars, so I am to show sympathy. My mother often said that things are the way they are because they could not have been any other way. I always questioned this. Do what you wish. I care not. Petra, Kenan, look after the others. I will be back soon. When? Are you sure you're all right? You were so badly hurt earlier. Maybe I should come along. The others need your protection more. I will be all right. Stay here with them. Keep them safe and calm. If you are ready, let us go end this. Yes. Indeed. Here we are. <laughs> I'm somewhat amazed at myself for having kept it in place this long. It made me very weary at times, but I had to stay strong to keep us safe. Be prepared for anything. I do not know what manner of beasts lurk beyond this barrier. Are you ready? Be on your guard. And I'm off. Thank you. 
Adventure's not over yet. And I'm off. Ooh, you feel that? It's actually colder up here. Please refrain from going into the stockroom. It is a mess and I've not been able to get it into a state fit to be seen. I was trying to tidy up, but there was little I could do. The stockroom is my responsibility. I must keep it clean. I tried to leave when things got quiet. That was when I encountered the barrier. Finding no other way out, I returned to work. Oh, Wayne, you should have said something. I would have opened the door for you. The stockroom is familiar. I prefer to be here. No. I suppose I should count myself lucky. I would prefer not to die. I would prefer it if the tower returned to the way it was. Perhaps Nial will succeed and save us all. Nial the mage. He came here with several others and took the litany of Adrala. But that protects from mind domination. Is blood magic at work here? I do not know. Nial was in the meeting. He would know. Blood magic. I was afraid of this. Blood magic could control us, too. Who knows what could happen then? We should find Nial. The litany will give us a fighting chance against any blood mages we encounter. I wish you luck. Perhaps this will be over soon and things will return to the way they were. Goodbye. Going.
I know I have no right to ask for mercy, but I didn't mean for this death and destruction. We were just trying to free ourselves. Aldred told us that the Circo would support Loghain, and Loghain would help us be free of the Chantry. You don't know what it was like. The Templars were watching. Always watching. The magic was a means to an end. It gave us... It gave me the power to fight for what I believed. Fighting for what you believe is commendable, but the ends do not always justify the means. You don't really believe that, do you, Wynne? Change rarely comes peacefully. Andraste waged war on the Imperium. She didn't write them a strongly worded letter. She reshaped civilization, freed the slaves, and gave us the Chantry. But people died for it. We thought, someone always has to take the first step. Force a change, no matter the cost. Nothing is worth what you've done to this place. And now Aldred's gone mad, and we are scattered, doomed to die at the hands of those who seek to right our wrongs. What else can I do? I'm trapped here. Please, if you spare me, I... I could escape and seek penance at the Chantry. You know, they'll never take you. They're very picky about who they let in. Harlots, murderers, yes! Maleficarum, oh no. I just want my life. Please. I'll find a way, please. I swear I'll do something good with my life. Thank you. The Maker will surely turn his eyes on you for your mercy. The tower was here long before the Circle. It was always unlikely that we were the first to bring magic to its halls.
hello? Oh, Maker! Oh, please don't hurt me! Please don't! Please don't hurt me! I'm no one! I'm not important! I just I don't want to die! Oh, Maker! The, thank you. Uh, I suppose I can breathe easy now. Godwin, Mage of the Circle of Ferelden, at your service. There were demons everywhere, blocking my exit. I decided that the best thing to do in that situation was to hide and be very, very quiet. I just really want to be somewhere safe. I think I might stay here for now. Maybe go back into my closet for a little while. And go where? The Templars have locked the door. I'm just going to stay here and see what happens. Thank you again for saving me. May we meet again in happier, less life-threatening times. All right. Oh, it's hard to remain quiet and hidden when you keep approaching me like this. There's nothing here. There must be something left. If we get out, we're gonna need gold. Aldrich said. Aldrich's not here, is he? Keep your mouth shut and we'll be right as rain. Right.
This looks like the head enchanter's study, maybe. You think he's read all those? What? You found Flemeth's grimoire? Ever since we discovered the condition of the Mage's Tower, I had wondered if it might be recoverable. But I had yet to speak of it to you. How fortunate that you found it on your own. You have my thanks. I will begin study of the tome immediately. I suppose something is deserved for all your efforts, is it not? I do not intend to squander this opportunity to learn more than Flemeth wished me to know. This should be interesting. It is strange that we have not seen more resistance. Where are all the mages, I wonder? All dead?
And I'm off. Huh. Tricked into a partial ritual. Curiosity unchecked became greed for this unfortunate apprentice. Look now. I'm off.
Thank you. That was an uncomfortable experience. And I'm off. Now that's just unnecessary. This wonderful husband. Isn't our life perfect? Yes, it is all perfect. Everything is just as you wanted, my knight. Our love and our family is more than you hoped for. Do you hear something, love? It is nothing, my darling. Just the door. I will get it. The children have finished supper. Tuck them into bed while I see who it is. Don't be long. The children will want to kiss you goodnight. I will be but a moment, my pet. You are intruding upon a loving, intimate moment, and I dislike disruptions. I have given him what he always wanted. Where is the harm in that? All emotion is intangible. You cannot see it, cannot grasp it. But it is normally caused by something real. Real events, real people. What you've done to him is... is abhorrent. I saw his loneliness and longing for a family that loved him. Apparently, you can get your desire and still suffer horribly. Tis truly a lesson for all who consider marriage. How long will you keep him in this stupor? Will he know it when his body fails and death claims him? A short, blissful existence is preferable to an interminable one of misery. We are partners. I give him what no one else can, and through him, I experience what it is to be mortal. Our thoughts and spirits are melded. If one perishes, so does the other. Though much of my strength is spent maintaining this link, I am his wife, and his children. He will defend me to the death if need be. I want nothing from you. I have what I need. All I ask is that you leave us alone. Then you leave me no choice. There are bandits at the door. They're going to murder the children. They will not get past me. Yes.
Yes. Huh. And I'm off. Yes. And I'm off. Visitors, I'd entertain you, but too much effort involved. But why? Aren't you tired of all the violence in this world? I know I am. Wouldn't you like to just lay down and... Forget about all this. Leave it all behind. Can't keep eyes open. Someone pinch me. This is ridiculous. You cannot expect me to rest on a floor sticky with blood. Resist. You must resist. Else we are all lost. Why do you fight? You deserve more. You deserve a rest. The world will go on without you. Ah, there you are. I'm not disturbing you, am I? You've been at Weishaupt for some time now. Do you like it here? It will stand as a testament to the time when the Grey Wardens were needed to fight the Darkspawn. The Darkspawn are gone, remember? 
You were there in the last great battle. It was a triumph for all of us, bringing down the Archdemon and setting the underground lairs ablaze. Foolish child. I have given you so much and you cast it back in my face. Can you not be content with the peace I offer? It seems only war and death will satisfy you. So be it. Have your war and your dark spawn. May they be your doom. Where did you come from? Are you a demon? No. I see that you're not. You're like me. Congratulations on getting out of that trap. I thought I'd escape too, but I've been wandering these empty grey spaces for a lifetime. Through sheer stupidity, or perhaps very, very bad luck. My name is Njarl, by the way. I was trying to save the Circle when I encountered the Sloth Demon. I expect our experiences were similar. Owain helped me greatly. I suppose I'll never be able to repay him. Litany was our weapon against the Blood Mage's domination. But it's too late. Everyone's dead. They get into your mind and take control of your body. You can't stop what they make you do. But the Litany protects against that. The Litany was our only hope of saving the Circle. But now, this place drains you of everything. Hope, feeling, life. No, there is no way out of here. You think there might be, but you'd be wrong. You see that pedestal there? I've studied the runes on it. Runes that signify different islands of the Sloth Demon's domain. The Sloth Demon itself is on the center island, but you can't get there. The five islands around the center somehow form a protective ward. I thought I was getting somewhere when I figured that out, and I went to each island in turn only to have my hopes dashed. There's always an obstacle. You'll see the path, but be unable to get to it. And it taunts you and drives you mad. Not much. You couldn't say we were friends, really. Demons have their own hierarchies. They play their own games, and mortals serve as... pawns, perhaps even bargaining chips. The demon keeping us here probably rules this entire section of the Fade. It'll not let us go easily, if at all. Off you go then. Save the world. I... I don't know. There are many dreamers. You might find a way to reach them through the islands. If you're lucky. Yes. Obstacles and mad dream things. A river of flame before a portal, or a, a door that shows you freedom through a keyhole that no key will fit. 
I once found a passageway smaller than my hand with a mouse going to and fro through it. The silly thing fled before I could question it. Mice are timid creatures by nature, even mice that are really people. Almost everyone you see here is a dreamer of some sort. Each dreamer may know things another may not. The mouse could have told me what lay beyond the tiny passage or how to get there. Even how I might make myself small like him and crawl through myself. And if one could become small enough to take one path, perhaps there are similar ways to walk the others. I don't know much. I... I think the Sloth Demon has placed lesser demons on each of the islands. I've seen them. They take different shapes, but they're there. Defeating them may be the only way to reach the Sloth Demon. But you have to get to them first. I... I couldn't. I was too afraid to try. Don't mind me, then. Yes. Thank you, but too late for me. Kill Yavina, the demoness that rules here. She protects her master, Sloth. There's a door, a door only demons can see. The key must be in another realm. Take my power. Save any others trapped in nightmares. Kill the demons that guard Sloth. Make my... Something happened, didn't it? You look a little different. What happened? Did you? Did it help? I know I saw the tiny holes, 
Were you small enough to get through? You're so much braver than I am. I was so sure it was impossible to get anywhere. Do you think you could learn other shapes? Maybe they could help you get to places you couldn't otherwise. I'm off. Dark spawn.
are behind the unbreakable door. I give you my wisdom. It will let you see. And now I wait. And I'm off.
What did you do? I felt something. Like the Earth was shifting. Except it probably wasn't the Earth. You did. You managed to get to it. I... I didn't think it was possible. Killing that demon must have opened something. Perhaps... Perhaps the pieces are falling into place now. Aldred is the mastermind behind it all. At Aldred's suggestion, the Circle was about to ally itself with Loghain, when the Tern's treachery was revealed. Aldred made excuses, but we were having none of it. He panicked then, tried to leave. Irving would not let him. I was barely paying attention. Such meetings are boring. The course of action usually decided before we even congregate. Aldred let loose a bolt of energy that flung us all against the far wall. That woke me up. It might have been a signal. That was when a whole group of mages poured into the chamber. And that was when I saw real blood magic in action for the first time in my life. It was like they brought the wrath of the Maker himself down upon our heads. I was just getting to that. Aldred must have also dabbled in demonology. When the fighting started, he tried to summon something, or uh, uh, some things. They overwhelmed him, and when his screaming stopped, Aldred was... gone. I'm sure he wishes he were dead. Aldred became an abomination. And when I saw it, I ran for my life. I was in a panic. Once I calmed down, I thought about what would happen if... that thing... got out. I gathered some of my fellows and we obtained the litany from the stockroom. I thought if we disabled the others, we could throw everything we had at Aldred. But I saw my friends fall, one by one. And now it's my turn. Not much. I know that it stops blood mages from taking over your mind. I don't even know who or what Adrala is. You're better off asking someone more knowledgeable. What do you think I could possibly help you with? If I can help, I will. What would you know? You freed the Templar. But a metal door blocks the way. You can find them scattered through the Fade. They're resistant to magic and my meager strength. Perhaps some other island will give you the means to bypass them. The demons do so love their flame. I could hear the howls of the Dreamer trapped there. Fire blocked my every path. It was truly the stuff of nightmares. But the mouse sought refuge there when I visited. He must have found paths hidden to us. Oh, I got out of there as quickly as I could. Though maybe if you could find a way to make yourself immune to the fire. What faint glimmers of hope I possessed were devoured there. Demons, monsters, and barriers of all kind. I think the demon that rules there is second only to the sloth demon in power. Well, don't mind me. I'm just sitting here waiting for the end. Don't mind me then. Going.